Um, so right now, I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do. Look at your reference, you know, get some rust in there, uh, have a little bit of fun with it. One really easy thing to do is, like on the skull here, you can go in here, and on top of this, uh, we have a fill layer. It doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, I'm going to add a new fill layer, and we'll just call this dirt. And let's, um, let's have a little fun with this dirt. So we're going to go over here to our procedurals, and underneath the procedural here, we're going to do a search for grunge. And here's a good grunge dirt, just so grunge dirt. You can control, uh, you can just drag it over here. And we're gonna throw that right on our base color. In fact, well, no, this, this should work fine. You can also, if you have any real obvious seams, again, you can switch this over to uh, triplanar projection, although that seems to be fine. Um, however, uh, right now it's just like black and white. Um, you could just do brown dirt, uh, but that gets a little samey to me. I prefer to do like a model dirt like this and kind of break it up a little bit. So we're going to right click here and go to add, nope, not add generator. We're going to add a filter. And this filter here, we're going to put in a gradient. And what the gradient is going to do is map different colors to the different values of this dirt. So for example, the darker black value right here, we're going to change that to be from black to be maybe, I don't know, this color brown, you're gonna see it updates on the fly. Uh, and then for color two, where it's kind of like a middle gray, take this color picker here and we'll make this uh, maybe a little, little less saturated, maybe a little more red. And then for color three, which is the lighter colors, we can go through here and we can make it maybe a little more red, a little less saturated, a little lighter. And that way we get a nice um, kind of variance across our dirt, so it's not just old plain old brown. Um, so now we have dirt here, but now, now it's all over our object, and it's kind of shiny. Dirt isn't really that shiny, so we select this uh, layer again. We're going to go down here. We're going to take this roughness and really kind of make it nice and rough. And if we want to ever change everything, like oh, I don't want to go back into that gradient and change all those dirts, uh, it's easy enough just to go through here and add another filter. And on this filter, we'll call it HSL. And then here we can change the overall hue. So if we want to make it, you know, oh, I wanted that, wish that there was a little more red, or I wish it was a little less saturated actually, and I wish it was a little bit darker. Uh, you can do that overall without having to go into those individual channels. In fact, if you wanted to make it more contrasty, you can right click in here, add a levels. And then I think, yeah, we're still dealing with base color. So I think you'll be able to go through here and add contrast to your dirt if you wanted to, or you can just get rid of that levels. Anyway. So here's our dirt, and then our dirt is all over our object, not really that realistic. So I'm going to right click here. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You could either add a black mask, and then on this black mask, you can go over here to Smart Masks, and you can be like, I want it to be like uh, he's getting a lot of dirt uh, from the ground. So you can go over here to Dirt Ground and just drag that right onto that mask. There you go. So now. Um, you can go into the mask builder here and there's a lot of attributes and stuff you can go through here and change the gradients and AOs and levels and stuff like that. And you'll see there's a lot of dirts in here and edge scratches and stuff you can pull from here. Uh, you can also right click and add a generator. And generators you can create in Substance Designer if you want to. So you have an empty generator here. Again, we're going to select this generator. Instead of doing edge scratches like we did before, we can do dirt. And now we have uh, dirt levels. You can dial this dirt up and down. You can change the dirt contrast. You can add more or less grunge, so it'll kind of grunge out all over the uh, metal. Or you can dial that down a little bit. Edges masking, if you want your edges to kind of peek through that metal, if you go through here into the nose, you're going to see that it'll go through and uh, get rid of the dirt that are sitting on the edges. You can do that. I kind of like that a little bit better. And you can also go up here to this uh, dirt. And right now it's on base color, so you can drop that base color down if you want that color not to go through. You just want it to affect the roughness, or you can go into the roughness and drop that opacity down as well. Speaking of roughness, let's hold down Control Alt and we'll go into the teeth here. And I'm just going to add a really, let's call this roughness breakup. We'll go back to our procedurals, grunge. We'll do this grunge rough cast. I'm just going to drop this right onto the roughness. And then we're going to turn off everything except for roughness. And that was just a, I just picked that by ra on uh, just randomly. Uh, that's going to help us break that surface up. And I'm going to drop that scale here so it's not quite so tiny. And if I get, if I want to just see this, I can hit C to go through my channels. And there's my roughness so I can kind of see it a little bit better. And if it's too, if it's, I want to change it a little bit more. I can go into roughness here and I can just drop this overall uh, roughness down and kind of blend it in with what's there previously. 